Taurus, Taurus, how far out thou, Taurus? How is everybody doing? Taurus, I'm going to start from start to finish, scratch. I don't even have any cards laid out here. I'll timestamp this video so you know if uh, where to start if you don't want to go through all the chit chatty and the shuffling, okay? So we're going to do uh, we're going to do a reading for Taurus. Ready? Set? Let's go. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. <clears throat> now, of course, this cannot possibly be your personal reading. As much as you may see yourself anywhere in these cards, I can pretty much guarantee you that this is not your personal reading, okay? Um, the only way to know your journey, the only way to understand the dynamics that's happening in your life is to get your cards read by me or anybody that you trust, okay? If you want me to read your cards, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a link in the box below. If you're interested in learning how to read cards, you can click on the link in the box below called Tarot School. I have a seven video series that will teach you how to read the tarot cards from start to finish, just like I do, okay? All right, so spirit, <clears throat> source, universal energy. I have got to take this ring off. It's just in my way. Sorry. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. Spirit, what does the collective of Taurus need to know? What does the collective of Taurus need to understand? What does the collective of Taurus expect in the future? Spirit, what do you know about Taurus? Taurus wants to know what you know, Spirit. What do you know about Taurus? And what is it that Taurus needs to know about themselves? Spirit, what's coming down the road? What is, I'm telling you, this death card is trying so hard to flip out of this deck like 80,000 times. So, word, death, card of Scorpio. Spirit, what is it that Taurus needs to know? What do you know about Taurus and what does Taurus need to know, Spirit? The who, what, where, when, why, and how. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle these cards five more times. I'm going to cut three times. I'm going to pull 15 cards off the top. Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen. Please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them to Taurus in a way that Taurus can apply to their lives. Taurus, let's cut the deck and see what's going on. Hold on. Okay, Taurus, had to pause for a second. Had to put the camera up on top so you guys can see the cards. I forgot all about that. It's a new thing for me. I forgot to do it. All right, so we shuffled. Getting ready to cut. Let's go one, two, three times. Middle becomes the top. Bottom becomes the middle. Six of swords in reverse. Can't move on. Too much water under the bridge. Some kind of baggage. First card out. Five of cups in reverse. This five of cups in reverse is going to talk to us about um, either seeking forgiveness or moving on from feelings of loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. To the six of wands, victory, progress, and success. Eight of wands in reverse, resistance, delays, and stalling. Eight of swords all up in your head thinking about what action it is you need to take to change your situation. Seven of wands in reverse. This is overwhelmed overwhelmed. Two of Wands, future. Queen of Swords, decisions, communications, truth. The Prince of Wands in the center of your reading, some kind of inspired action. Justice follows it. Ooh, justice. This is the, uh, the first major that's come out. Hmm. Ace of Wands, passionate, inspired new beginnings. Princess of Pentacles, Manifestation. Six of Cups in Reverse. This is unrealistic. This is jealousy. This is reuniting and reconciling is unrealistic. We'll see what all this is about. The King of Wands. Hmm, that damn King of Wands. Eight of Pentacles, Engaging, Building, Working on Something. To the Five of Wands, Conflict. Conflict, Conflict. The alchemist in reverse, untapped talents, manipulation, the lovers in reverse, a misalignment of values, two major arcana talking to you right there, Taurus. The three of pentacles, teamwork and collaboration, 
The Queen of Wands in reverse, we'll figure out what that is. The Nine of Swords, anxiety, despair. Ten of Wands in reverse. This is about uh, avoiding responsibility. Death. There it is. There's that death card, right? An ending, a change, a transformation. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, an overinvestment. The Three of Cups, reuniting, celebration. Seven of Pentacles, reflection and assessment. Three of Swords in reverse. This is healing heartbreak. Six of Pentacles, not giving and receiving. Five of Pentacles in reverse, spiritual poverty. Five of Swords in reverse. It can be about open to change, but it's also about um, it's also about past resentment. King of Swords in reverse, misuse of power. God, Prince of Swords in reverse. Talking about um, scattered energy. It could be a disregard for consequences. Ten of Swords in reverse, either recovery or an inevitable end. To the Prince of Cups, messages of feelings. Four of Swords, Contemplation, the Sun in Reverse, not very optimistic, Queen of Cups in Reverse, Emotional Insecurity, the Chariot, Movement, the Devil in Reverse, Releasing Limiting Beliefs or Detaching, the Hermit, wow Taurus, I could just go through this whole damn deck, I haven't even found a, a stopping point yet, I haven't even found it, the story just keeps repeating over and over and over again so we're going to stop with the hermit we're going to stop with the hermit that's like 80 more cards than i would normally take as as extras to the side but we'll see what all of this means i'm not real sure what this story is so let's just keep going okay let's just keep going so what do we have here what do we have here we have the five of cups in reverse this Five of Cups in Reverse is talking about, I think it's talking about moving on. I really do. I think it's talking about moving on to the Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. Eight of Wands in Reverse. This talks to us about resistance and delays, right? Eight of Swords in your mind, not really sure why there's resistance and delays. To the Seven of Wands in Reverse. This is giving up, right? So this whole top row here is about you moving on from hopes or desires for victory, progress, and success because it's just not happening and you are in your mind trying to figure out what action you need to take to change the situation and uh, Seven of Wands says you give up. Two of Wands, looking into the future to the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so you're to, to the Prince of Wands, right? So the Queen of Swords to the Prince of Wands. You are taking um, inspired action to make a decision to let this go in order to move into the future. Justice comes in and talks to us about truth, honesty, fairness, and justice. And I do believe that this is, this is your truth, Taurus. This is your truth with the Justice card. The Ace of Wands. Uh, this brings justice, right, to to your giving up on this whole situation. The Ace of Wands. This has inspired creative new beginnings in your life. To the Princess of Pentacles, manifestation. To the Six of Cups in reverse, because reuniting and reconciling with this King of Wands is unrealistic. The King of Wands. Let's just not put a person in this King of Wands. Let's use the King of Wands as an energy of achievement and success. To the Eight of Pentacles, working, gaining mastery on it. To the Five of Wands, oh no. Oh no, so this story starts, so it ends with you manifesting someplace else because you don't think that this is going to work out and then enter the king of wands to the eight of pentacles and the five of wands the eight of wands comes in i do believe and wants to engage creates a lot of conflict with the five of wands the alchemist in reverse says that you feel like this is manipulation of some sort 
to the lovers in reverse because there's a misalignment of values teamwork and collaboration you guys are on different pages okay to the queen of wands in reverse this is um jealousy insecurity right so there's something happening here that's creating jealousy and insecurity to the nine of swords feelings of despair the ten of wands in reverse talking about um taking on too much it's just like too it's it, you can't engage in this relationship with the king of wands because they want something different than you do death comes in and says you're putting an end nine of pentacles because it would be an over investment three of cups to reunite seven of pentacles reflecting and assessing on if any kind of investment in this situation would be worth it or not three of swords in reverse this is um healing from the past of this situation to the six of pentacles in reverse understanding that the that the relationship here is one-sided your side i think five of pentacles in reverse spiritual poverty do you really want to re-engage in all of this five of swords in reverse lots of past resentment king of swords in reverse still angry still angry prince of swords in reverse there is no logical thought pattern happening here you can't figure it out to the ten of swords you can't figure out why right why would you even want to re-engage with me if we're not even going to be on the same page ten of swords in reverse recovery and regeneration to the prince of cups right that's what's that's what is trying to happen here four of swords thinking in a defensive posture about what your next move is going to be because you're not very optimistic with the sun in reverse that this is going to work for you queen of cups in reverse you've already removed your love from the situation chariot moving forward the devil releasing your limiting beliefs and then the hermit going into hermit mode and trying to figure it out well this is going to be a big reading okay this is going to be a huge reading um i am going to end this video here if you would like to see me work this out with the clarifying cards if you'd like to see um, how this all ends and if you're new to this channel um, i do deep reads deep deep reads all the clarifying cards that we can possibly get i will use to clarify this reading um, go back and watch some of my other Taurus videos if you're apprehensive about following me through to Vimeo and paying two bucks to see how this works out. That's right. Um, there is an extended reading link in the box below two dollars and we are going to work out this entire reading i'm going to keep taping from this point forward i am going to break out my clarifying cards and i am going to work the hell out of this reading and we're going to see what is going on here but but this is where this ends on youtube if you'd like to follow me over to vimeo you are more than welcome to click on the link in the box below two bucks will give you full access to everything i'm about to sort through in this reading right now okay taurus all right namaste all right let's see let's work this out so the five of cups in reverse this is moving on from the six of wands victory progress and success to the eight of wands in reverse because there is resistance stalling no movement happening so spirit tell me about this tell me about this yeah look the eight of pentacles in reverse to the prince of cups in reverse you have lost motivation to move forward in this re in this uh whatever this is that you that you've been waiting for that you want whatever this is that you're moving away from you have lost ambition you've lost ambition you've lost focus knight of cups in reverse says that you are withdrawing your emotions from the situation right it's unrealistic to 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 give or receive emotions in this situation eight of swords rolling it around in your mental eights are about movement action and change right in this card she's trying to figure out what kind of movement what kind of action she needs to take to change her situation right and that's what you're doing here taurus you're going hmm all right this isn't working this isn't working the way that i thought it was going to work all these tarot card readings on youtube have been telling me that somebody's coming back from my past but i ain't seeing it i ain't seeing it happen that's what you're saying right here in this eight of swords energy i'm not seeing it happen so the seven of wands in reverse i'm just going to give up 
What are you giving up on? Well, the magician in reverse, again to the eight of swords and the lovers. What is this about? Well, this is about, let's see, the magician in reverse is about manipulation, untapped talents. Um, the eight of swords is in the mind to the love the lover's card, a love situation. So what this could be saying is that you have um, you have had your hopes built up that there is going to be the return of some kind of love situation. And again, you're in the Eight of Swords wondering why it's not happening, right? Why isn't it happening? Like I said, all these readings on YouTube are telling me that somebody's coming back from my past when in fact nobody's come back at all. And I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting and I'm giving up with the Seven of Wands. Just giving it up. Giving it up. Uh, yeah, look, the Two of Swords in reverse, right? This is confusion. It's just like, ugh. The Two of Wands, I'm going to start looking down the road into your future. You are going to change your energetic connection to the hopes that somebody comes back from your past. Changing the energetic, energetic connection. I got a flipper here. Hold on. Uh, yeah, look, the Five of Cups, right? Loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. We're not finished with that top row yet. There's loss, regret, despair, disappointment. You're moving on from it. It's not happening. False hope. Um, false hope. And you're just, you're giving up on the whole thing. Now, the Two of Wands, right? <laughs> well, we're not finished with the top row. Justice comes out in reverse. This is an injustice. It's not fair. It's not right. It's not fair. It's not right. It's an injustice. And, um, Taurus is going to begin with the Two of Wands to look into their future without the hopes that this person is going to come back into their life. Looking into the future to the Queen of Swords, right? Speaking truth to themselves. This isn't happening. This is not happening for me. There is nobody returning from my past. It's not happening and there's nobody returning from my past. And that's how Taurus feels. Tell me about the Two of Wands to the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Wands to the Queen of Swords. Making a decision to look into your future and not look back. Not wait for this to happen anymore. And it's just not. It's you, you've given up. Prince of Wands. Nothing you want to say about the Two of Wands to the Queen of Swords. I nailed it. I nailed it. Right on. Prince of Wands. Inspired action. In the center of your reading. Inspired action is justice and the Ace of Wands. What is this about right here? What is this about? Hmm. Well, I think this goes here because the, well, we got the, okay. So we got the two pentacles, the five of wands and the five of pentacles, right? So you are looking into your future with the two of wands, making decisions with the queen of swords, making decisions with the queen of swords that this is not balanceable. Is it a word? Balanceable? You, this, this situation is disorganized. You can't balance it. There's nothing that you can do. You've tried. You've tried to bring it into alignment. You've tried to bring it into balance and it's, it's not happening. Five of Wands, right? Conflict. You're just, you're just to the Five of Pentacles. You're just walking away from it. You're walking away from it and you're leaving it out in the cold. Okay. Spirit. Understood. Prince of Wands in the center of the reading, inspired action. What is this inspired action that brings justice and a brand new beginning with manifestation? Is this Taurus taking this action? Let's see, we have the Star, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, and the Tower. So inspired action to the Star, hope, faith, purpose, renewal, Seven of Cups in reverse. Temptation? Diversionary tactics? The Emperor in reverse. Domineering, controlling, controlling a, a need for self-discipline? I don't understand. And then it's followed by a tower. What is the tower? What is the tower moment here, Spirit? What is this tower? I don't understand. What is this tower? What is this tower? What is this tower? Whatever it is, it puts you into the Four of Swords contemplating what you're going to do. What is the tower? 
King of Swords, Death, Hopelessness, Loss, been in it for too long. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So what this Prince of Wands is right here in the center of your reading, Taurus, is you. This is you taking inspired action to change, to energetically shift away from what it is that you've been hoping for, accepting reality as in it's not going to happen, sewing up the box, leaving it out in the cold, and moving forward, moving on with your life without the hopes that this situation could ever come together. It's just done in your mind, Taurus. It's done and over with. And you're taking inspired action to justice, to bring some justice to the situation. Your justice is you cutting off this connection and just moving forward. That's your justice. That's your truth to yourself. Okay? Prince of Wands, inspired action. Now I got a bunch of clarifying cards here because I was I was I was trying to to see it go in a different direction, but I was on the wrong path. And these clarified card clarifying cards are like Dana, they're screaming at me. I see it now, right? I didn't see it a second ago. The Star, you want hope and faith and purpose and renewal in your life, in your romantic relationships, in just everything. You're just so done with this whole scene. This is so yesterday, right? Weeks ago. It's so yesterday. Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, diversionary tactics, right? You are going to refocus your attention on a completely different area of your life. And you are cutting this loose and you're letting it go. The Emperor in reverse. This is self-discipline, okay? Now, it's about domineering, controlling, authoritative energy, but it's also about the need for self-discipline. And that's what Taurus, that's what Taurus is doing here. They're, they're applying self-discipline to close out this whole cycle of their life, hoping that this person is going to come back into their life when in fact they've come to the conclusion now that it's just not happening. It's just not happening. This is a tower moment for the Taurus. It is. It's a it's an awakening, a revelation. It's like I finally am putting this to rest. I am finally accepting that this reuniting, this reconciling with this person from my past is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. King of Swords comes in and says, this is you. This is your truth. This is your decision. The buck stops here and that's it. My decision is I am killing this. I am ending this energetic connection, this hope that this person will come back into my life. I'm putting it to an end because it's hopeless. It's absolutely hopeless and I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It was, a, it was a loss, a huge loss, a loss in the fabric of who I am. This loss of this situation or this relationship um, was huge for Taurus. And they're finally accepting that it is a loss. The Knight of Pentacles, been there, been in that energy, been holding out hope for a long, long time. Four of Swords, contemplating, what you gonna do now? What you gonna do now, Taurus? What you gonna do now? You've cut these energetic ties. What you gonna do now? It's brought justice, truth, fairness into the situation. And the Four of Pentacles just came out. And this is a card about, I think, just sitting still for a minute. Just sitting still for a minute and uh, getting it together, figuring it out, figuring it out. Because you're in the Four of Swords energy, right? Contemplating in a defensive posture. And the Four of Swords says, you're not in a big hurry to do anything. Well, lo and behold, look what just came out of the deck. The Six of Cups to the Ace of Wands. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Come on. Tell me more, Spirit, about this Ace of Wands. What is this about? Huh, 
<laughs> the Page of Wands, the Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups in Reverse, and the Ten of Swords. To the Two of Wands. Wow. Seriously? What is this about right here? Come on. And the Three of Swords. Anything else you want to say about this little pile before I read it? Anything else you want to say about this? Uh, the Page of Cups. No fucking way. No way. Taurus? No way. You know what? I just did a reading uh, this morning with... Um, um, I'm going to call her out, right? I'm going to call her out because nobody knows who she is. You don't even know where she is. But Dory, Dory, this is exactly what we were talking about in your reading about cutting those energetic ties. And then they're like, what? You can't, what? All the possessiveness starts to come out. That's interesting. Very interesting. So Dory, maybe this reading is connecting with you. So Page of Cups. All right, to the Princess of Pentacles, to the Six of Cups in reverse. What you thought was unrealistic is actually realistic. So tell me about this Six of Cups. Whoa, oh, that's a lot. Let's see if we can take these. Well, what these cards, I'm going to put these cards back in the deck, but you know, you can see them in the whole little screen and screen thing here. So what this Six of Cups is saying, I might leave them out. What the Six of Cups is saying is that, so you thought that reuniting or reconciling in any way whatsoever was completely unrealistic. You totally gave up on the idea, right? Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is a disregard for skills, lack of teamwork, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, lost opportunity to the Seven of Swords because of somebody's fuckery to the Strength card being strong through the whole thing, coming through it, being strong, Taurus strong, right? To the world in reverse, closure, closed it out, got closure. Clo oh my God, did you hear me? Excuse me, I think I just burped on camera. <laughs> Closing it out, right? Got some closure. The devil in reverse, you released your limiting beliefs. What were your limiting beliefs? That this person was going to come back. You closed it out, closed it out. Well, lo and behold, Look who shows up, the King of Wands, right? The King of Wands shows up to the King of Cups with all kinds of love all over the place, which creates in you the Five of Swords, right? Betrayal, mind games, Eight of Pentacles, they want to engage. The Five of Wands leaves you in a bunch of conflict, right? A bunch of conflict, totally conflicted about all of this. Totally conflicted. Yeah, look to the Three of Cups in reverse. Because there has been stifled creativity. There has been nothing happening between the two of you. Nothing. So much so that you fucking gave up on it, Taurus. You gave up on it, right? Could indicate that there was lies and deceit and betrayal because of a third party situation in the past. It could be that this King of Wands comes back, wants to engage, but they still have other people around, right? Other people. And Taurus is like, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. It's not how it works. Not with the Taurus anyway. It's not how it works. Can't have all kinds of other people around. The Alchemist in Reverse. I'm going to put it over here so y'all can see it better. So the Alchemist in Reverse. Manipulation, poor planning to the lovers in reverse. Manipulation, poor planning, a misalignment of values. Um, let me use this one. Spirit, tell me, tell me, I think there's something shady going on here. Just let me get to the bottom of this real quick, okay? Tell me, page of wands in reverse frustration spirit so this king of wands this king of wands right here what is happening with the king of wands they want to come out of heartbreak 
What's happening with this King of Wands? What does this King of Wands want for real? What do they want for real, Spirit? What does this King of Wands want for real? I swear to God, I'm not kidding you. The Hierophant. Wow. That's what they want for real, Spirit? Ten of Wands, burden and a struggle. They want to end the burden and the struggle between the two of you. Six of Pentacles. They want uh, to come together and give and receive. Okay, understood, understood, understood. So, the alchemist in reverse. The alchemist in reverse is going to be manipulation. You don't trust this person. You don't trust them because them coming back in puts you in the five of swords, the five of wands, and the three of cups in reverse, right? Five of swords, um, betrayal, deceit, con conflict in the mental, the five of wands. Um, this is uh, loss, defeat in the realm of your passions, the three of cups, no creation in your feelings, right? No creations in your feelings. Page of Wands in reverse. This is the delays, the frustration to the Three of Swords in reverse. This is them asking for forgiveness for being MIA. That's what this is about. They're coming in, talking about the misalignment of values between the two of you, talking about untapped talents. What does that mean? Talking about how perhaps they overlooked some things about this relationship in the past and they think that there's that there's something that can be made between the two of you. The Hierophant. <laughs> Talking commitment. The Ten of Wands. Burden and struggle, but an end in sight. They want to end the burden and the struggle between the two of you and have some kind of commitment to the Six of Pentacles and give and receive and share. <sighs> Three of Pentacles. They want teamwork and collaboration. But the Queen of Wands in reverse comes in and talks about insecurity, jealousy, crazy. So tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Who's this Queen of Wands in reverse? And, and what is it? Is it representing conversation? Oh, to the star. Okay. All right. They want to give, they want to exchange the anger of the Queen of Wands in reverse for teamwork and collaboration to the star for hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in the relationship. Nine of Swords. Wow. Puts you in a state of like serious anxiety and despair. Ten of Wands in reverse. This is overwhelmed. It's 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 a huge burden. It's overwhelmed and it's overwhelming and it's a huge burden. Death comes in, an ending, a change, a transformation. That's what this person wants. They want to end the way that things were. They want to go in to the way things will be. They want a transformation of the relationship to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. But Taurus is thinking to the Three of Cups is reuniting with this person an overinvestment of my time and effort because I'm not real sure that uh, I want this anymore, quite frankly. Seven of Pentacles, reflecting and assessing the Three of Swords in reverse on heartbreak and, and healing and forgiving heartbreak. Six of Pentacles in reverse to the Five of Pentacles in reverse, to the Five of Swords in reverse, and the King of Swords in reverse. This is all saying right here that Taurus is really, really putting the wood to the fire to try to see if this, to, to try to discern if this would be an overinvestment of their time and efforts to reunite with this person, reflecting and assessing on the, on the effort versus the return, right? 
Three of Swords in reverse. Can I forgive this person? Six of Pentacles in reverse. It's been a long time since we've given and receiving with each other. Given and receiving? <laughs> it's been a long time since we've given and received with one another. Um, and uh, I, this has been a one-sided situation for a long time because you have been pining over this, wanting this, finally, after all this time, giving up that this actually isn't going to happen for you. One-sided, right? You've thought this whole time this was a one-sided kind of thing. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is spiritual poverty. To the Five of Swords in reverse, there's a lot of past resentment. To the King of Swords in reverse, because somebody misused their power, whether it was a third party situation or whatever this person did to you, Taurus, it was a grievous misuse of power, their power over your feelings, right? Prince of Swords in reverse. There seems to be no logical, reasonable explanation for any of this. Ten of Swords in reverse to the Prince of Cups. But now they want to come in and resurrect something from the dead. They want to recover and regenerate your relationship with the Prince of Cups, with messages of feelings. Four of Swords, contemplating in a defensive posture what your next move should be. To the Sun in reverse, because you're not real optimistic. Queen of Cups in reverse, you've already removed your emotions from this person because you cut them energetically at the beginning of this reading. You've already removed your emotions from this person. But lo and behold, with the chariot, here they come. Here they come. The devil in reverse, releasing limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? See, the devil in the upright is an attachment that's a restriction to your personal growth. Whatever it is. It's an attachment that's a restriction to your personal growth. In the reverse, it's about releasing those limiting beliefs. What's the limiting belief? Your belief that this situation is any good for you. It's also about detaching, right? And that's what you're tossing around with this devil in reverse. You're trying to figure out if this is <laughs> even possible. Puts you in the hermit energy, right? Some soul searching, some introspection about this whole damn situation right here. The King of Wands, of course, it's who we're talking about, right? Can be male, female, doesn't matter. If you can't, I, in my readings, I show up as King of Wands all the time. I'm all, I, I show up as the King of Wands way more than I show up as the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles because that's my personality. That's who I am. I'm fiery. Um, so we're talking about male or female. It doesn't matter, but they're, they're coming at you with a masculine energy, okay? And if you're a dude watching this and you cannot wrap your mind around the fact that sometimes you have feminine energy, you need to really do some self-examination about that, some critical self-analysis, um, because there's no gender here, okay? So this King of Wands comes in. So you are soul-searching and introspection, soul-searching and doing some introspection in the Hermit energy about the King of Wands, who is the person that's bringing you in messages about reuniting and reconciling. Knight of Cups in reverse, contemplating if this is... It's a card about unrealistic it's unrealistic to share your feelings with this person ace of swords in reverse because there's not enough truth being spoken um, about the justice in reverse about the injustice that took place i mean we have injustice here and injustice here heart of hearts that there was a grievous injustice look in the six of wands now this person wants victory progress and success to the death card We've had death a couple of times with the King of Wands a couple of times. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Dory. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Just saying. Just saying. I just saw a flipper. Hold on. Don't have to be, though. Y'all don't take those sun signs to heart, okay? Really don't. I'm here to tell you right here and now. Look at my face. Listen to me. Spirit does not give a shit what your zodiac sign is, okay? They don't. They do not care. I do tarot card readings all day, every day. And I rarely, rarely ask what somebody's zodiac sign is. And my readings are on fucking point. So there you go. Flipper, what do I got? 
So don't let the zodiac signs uh, trip you up in any way whatsoever. Whoever you're thinking about while I'm reading this, male or female, that's who this is about. Knight of Wands, that was the flipper. Okay, so death comes in. There's an ending, a change, a transformation. The Knight of Wands, inspired action being taken. What is this about? But look, the Two of Wands in reverse. You have fear of the unknown. You just really don't know about this anymore, Taurus. As much as you wanted this and as long as you waited for this to happen, you just don't know if this is something that you want anymore. The fool flew on the floor. New beginning, new journey. New beginning, new journey. What is this about? What is this about? What is this about? Is this Taurus going on a new beginning, new journey? Are they getting back together again? Is this Taurus going out on their own? Ooh, look, the Eight of Cups in reverse. It's about walking away. To the King of Cups, again, second time, King of Cups. Again, that's the card of Scorpio. What else? To the Page of Cups. Wow, so the Eight of Cups. Hopeless. So new beginning, new journey. That's what this person is coming to you and that's what they want. But man, you just keep feeling that Eight of Cups. The hopeless walking away energy. King of Cups comes in and says, feelings, right? Feelings to the Page of Cups with a message of creation. Feelings with a message of creation. Look, five of, five of Wands in reverse. An increased focus on goals is what they want. To the Sun, happiness, success, and vitality. But you see them as the Emperor in reverse. This Emperor in reverse used to be the Emperor upright. Which goes right back to the King of Wands all over the place. Could be dealing with an Aries. Everybody out there dealing with an Aries is like, yes. <laughs> Everybody out there not dealing with an Aries is like, no. Don't let it. Don't let it. Okay? Don't let it. Oh, my God. So the Emperor, right, who you used to hold in high esteem, but you don't anymore. They have fallen from your good graces. Ace of Cups. You have a lot of feelings for this person. You do. You have a lot of repressed emotions. You have a lot of feelings for this person. To the Ten of Pentacles. The, the, the Emperor, the King of Wands, is coming in and saying, let's build. Let's build together. Let's build a life together. Let's build. Let's build a life. Puts you in the High Priestess energy, right? All up in your head. Don't know what to make of any of this. It literally, literally throws you off balance. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You've been stuck on this person for so long. And now you're finally, finally free. Finally have the self-closure. Have finally detached and released this person. And now they're back in your face. Wanting to reunite and reconcile and build the Ten of Pentacles together. Expressing their love. Expressing their emotions. And Taurus just, just goes into the Hermit and the High Priestess and kind of freaks out a little bit. True. True. You've been stuck on this person for a long time. Wheel of Fortune. But now there's a turning point, right? Whether you, what, what you do with it is totally up to you. But there is a turning point. Eight of Wands in reverse. You're holding off, though. You're holding off. You don't trust it. Holding off on the whole situation because you don't really trust what's happening here. Are they rushing back because they feel the emptiness of the energetic connection? Are they just trying to pull the wool over your eyes and saying, um, you know, no, 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 Taurus, I can feel you leaving. I haven't talked to you in six months, but I feel you leaving and that can't happen. You have to stay attached to me. What's going on here? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, spiritual poverty. See, Taurus, you just don't know. You just don't trust this person's motivations. You just don't trust them. What else is happening? What else is happening? What else is happening? What else is happening? Page of Pentacles in reverse because nothing is manifested. What else is happening? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up real quick, and then we're gonna do some uh, some some cards about what this person needs and wants. Knight of Swords, some action. Finally, geez, finally some action. What else is going on here? What's up with this action? What's up with this action? What's 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 the action about? To the Two of Swords, some action to get you out of the crossroads. To the Eight of Swords, out of your own mind. Out of the crossroads, out of your own mind. What else is happening here? What else is happening? What else is happening? What else is happening? Anything? Ugh, all over the floor. But we're taking them all. I don't care what they are. I don't care how many there are. We're taking them all. All right. So in your mind, to the seven of wands in reverse, because you gave up. Empress, Taurus, in their power. Abundance. Ace of wands. Inspired, creative, passionate new beginnings. That's what's on the table. Seven of swords. You don't trust it. Eight, uh, I'm sorry, four of pentacles in reverse, super self-protection mode, queen of cups, but you still have love. You still have love. So spirit, what's the outcome here? All right, let's just shift. Let's shift gears real quick. Spirit, spirit, I want to know, spirit, what is, well, what they give us? Almost the exact cards that just came out, right? Queen of Cups in reverse. Removed your love to the Six of Cups. When it comes to reuniting and reconciling with the Seven of Swords, you don't think you can trust it. It's been too much of a burden and a struggle. King of Pentacles is concerned about um, themselves, right? King of Pentacles is the card of Taurus. Concerned about themselves and the Chariot in reverse is opposition, right? Just uh, not, not moving forward with this whole thing. Okay, so spirit, I want, I want to know, what is your advice? Okay, first of all, I want to know, what is the true intentions of this person? The Four of Cups. You know what? Let's just do something different. I'm going to pull all these cards together before I get into this new fresh deck that I haven't touched yet. I'm going to pull all these cards together real quick, and we are going to do something fresh. Okay, because I could just go on and on and on and on and on like this. So let's just pull all these together. These can go over here for now. These can come over here. There, there. All right, I think I got all the rider right weight off the table. Hold on, give me just a second. So basically, right? Just a recap of this whole reading. Um, you're giving up. Giving up, cutting the energetic connection, going about your business. And this person feels you cutting the energetic connection and they come racing in saying, hey, wait, where do you think you're going? You are supposed to be tied to me um, forever. And I can go out and do whatever the hell I want to do, but you, Taurus, better stay energetically connected to me because I need your energy to be able to feel good about myself. Okay, Taurus, at this point, we're going to stop the YouTube reading and we're going to hop over to the extended reading on Vimeo. The extended reading is only $2 and we're going to dive in to what it is this person exactly wants from you, what their true intentions are, what their motivations are, and uh, what this all means to you. So if it's worth it to you, two bucks over on the flip side, Vimeo, there's a link in the box below. Namaste.